Hello, I'm John DeWarty. I'm here at DeWarty Georgetown Vineyards in El Dorado County. It's December 8th of 2015, and we are here to talk about planting Uber vines from DeWarty Nursery. Uber vines are a new product that DeWarty Nursery has introduced. It's a 36 inch cane of rootstock in a four by four by nine inch deep pot, already tied up a bamboo stake. The vines have been distributed out here in the field by our crews and they're ready for planting. Uh, there's a couple things we can do on the Uber vines to get them to perform particularly well. Um, we've been offering this vine for about six years now. It's really catching on. It's making up a very large portion of our sales at Doherty Nursery because growers are seeing exceptional early production and really are being able to reduce their labor costs in establishing their vineyards when they go with the Uber vines. And it all starts with getting a good high quality Uber vine in its big extra large pot with a fully developed root system on it and prepared for training right up the stake the minute you, the minute you take out the pot. So let's demonstrate that. We're gonna dig a little bit deeper hole here at the planting site than we normally dig. Uber vines are in a deeper pot and you'll see in a moment it's very important to manage the depth of the planting to really capture the efficiencies in training it. A little stubborn rock here. It is the mountains. That's what happens. There we go. I think that should be deep enough. When the Ubervine goes in the hole, we are going to trim it up where we've got about six inches of growth left in a single cane at the top of the vine. We're going to plant it deep enough. Oh, got to dig a bit deeper. So that six inches of growth will terminate right at the fruiting wire. Let's try it again. That looks better. So I've got a medium weight grape tying tape here. It's a medium weight 3 8 inch tape. I'm going to put a single wrap at the top of the rootstock, right below the graft union. This right here. I'm going to put a double looser wrap at the base of the vine that, if it was real tight, would run a bit of a risk of girdling the vine as it gets fatter. But since there's a little bit of a gap here, that's actually going to let the vine grow into it and still secure it fairly well. I want to come up here and put another single tie in the middle of the cane above the graft union. And that's going to keep it anchored well without chance of girdling. And then up top here, we are going to get a bit fearless. And we're going to put a very, very tight double tie at the top of the vine. And you can see in the close up here, that the top of the vine is actually cut back to where it's just inner node, so we're not worried about growth above that causing a girdling effect. Now once the vine's in the ground, we bring the soil back in on top of it. With the shovel like this. And give it some, some tamping down. Like this. And because it's a mountain vineyard and we're on, the, on a slope, we're going to just take a moment here and put a small basin right downhill of the vine. So if any water starts to run, we can catch it right here and make sure it pulls in the vine through the irrigation system this next year. So that is how you plant an Uber vine. We'll see in the next setting how these canes will grow from these growing points along the uh, stem growth we left, train themselves up in the canopy, and be available for tying down next year as dormant canes. And that will be our only training pass for an Uber vine planting prior to the first harvest, which was 18 to 24 months after planting. 